Listen here, bros. I got some of the coldest pieces of game I can give you, bro. This, this little one bit of information will separate you from most guys, man. It'll separate you from the bunch. It'll make you a beast out here in these streets. Your, your life completely changes if you can live by and follow this one rule. And if you can change this one part of your life, if there's something that you're struggling with. Before I get into it, though, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon, man. Link is in the description. Hit that subscribe button for the boy, man. I'm giving a lot of game out here on YouTube for the free. And I got a lot more to give in a Patreon. So subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. But listen up. If you can do this one thing, man, it's difficult for most guys. But it will separate you from the rest of the pack. Remove lust out of the equation when it comes to dealing with women. I'm not even going to tell you to remove women from your life. Stop focusing on women, right? Because women are and can be very useful and very helpful when it comes to a man's success and when it comes to furthering a man in his life. They can be very useful. They can be very beneficial if you're around the right women. If you partner yourself with the right woman, she can definitely be of good use. That is the point. They're a help me, right? Remove the urge to have sex. Remove your sexual desires, the sexual attraction that you have to this woman or to these women, right? Remove that from the equation, right? Now, what do you have left? First off, you're going to separate yourself if you don't have... If you don't have sex at the top of your priority list when it comes to dating women, dealing with women, you're going to separate yourself from most dudes off top. Right. Because most dudes are driven by the idea of getting laid. They want to take women out. They want to court them. They want to buy them nice things. They want to do nice things for them because they feel at the end of it, they're going to get laid. They're driven by lust. They're motivated by their lust, by their sexual urges. And this is something that you have to develop over time, especially if you're a guy who has not had success with women. Right. If you've been struggling with women and you don't understand why. It's probably because you're so pressed. To get women or you are so pressed to get laid that it's oozing out your pores and it's causing you to actually not get laid. But this video isn't about how you can get laid. This video is about how you can separate yourself and become a doper individual. Remove lust from the equation, bro, because for one. Women can tell when a guy is a lot of times women can tell when a guy is sexually motivated. Right. He's just here because he wants to sleep with me. Right. They, they can they can pick up on it. Now, you come across some women, they down, they down for the same thing, but some aren't. And so if a woman knows that you sexually motivated, she will one possibly just stop dealing with you all together because you're making her feel like you're only here to get laid or two she can use that to her advantage she immediately has leverage when she see that you care about getting laid you care about your, your lustful urges you're motivated by that and she can use that against you if you are a man who shows up and absolutely does not care whether you sleep with this woman or not. When you had these encounters with her, if, if you're going out with her, getting to know her, whatever the case may be, you absolutely do not care whether you get laid by this woman or not. And she recognizes that she sees that. Right. You immediately become more attractive and you immediately separate yourself from most guys. Now, how do you get to the point where you remove yourself from? Those lustful urges, those sexual urges. How do you get to that point? Right. You have to separate the idea of getting laid. You have to separate that idea from the woman. Right. You have to completely remove that idea from the woman. Then you can see her for who she truly is. Remove sex from the equation, because when you do that and you are fully in control of your own urges, you fully in control of your own desires, you are more disciplined. You know, that's not why you're here. You want your purpose. You need someone in your life that can help further you help get you there quicker. 
Remove sex from the equation. Don't even don't even incorporate that. Now you have no you you don't have the motivation to get laid so you can move different. You can maneuver different if you're not expecting to get laid at the end of this. If that's not your goal. Now you can focus on getting to know her for who she truly is. She can focus on getting to know you for who you truly are. You may show up differently if you know my goal is not to get laid by this woman. My goal is not to sleep with this woman. You're going to show up different in how you are courting her. How are you approaching her? How are you talking to her? You showing up different. You're showing up as a guy that is not pressed about getting sex from this woman. And she's going to pick up on that. She's either going to realize, okay, this dude is different. He on his business. He on his purpose. Or she might think this dude might not like me like that. Like, why is he not pressed? To sleep with me like what's up with this guy And that makes you more intriguing And that makes her want to get to know you more Like what is it about this guy Most guys that I come across Is on my head Most guys that I come across want to sleep with me But this guy acts like he is just Absolutely not pressed at all So what is it Now she's intrigued Now you have her attention Now you can see her for who she truly is what can she truly bring? What what value does she actually have outside of sex, outside of anything sexual? What values does she have? What can she bring to me outside of that? If you start approaching the game like that, if you start approaching women like that without the thought of I want to get laid or I'm trying to just sleep with this woman, remove that. You might even just stop dating and stop dealing with chicks altogether if you take that away. If that's not your goal, because that's probably something that you've been on for a long time. And a lot of guys out here are are strictly just on some, I just want to smash. I'm not looking for nothing serious. I just want to smash. And that's taken away from, that's distracting you from your purpose. That's holding you back. Now you invest in energy. You invest in money and time into women just for a short, temporary amount of pleasure just to get laid. When you could be investing that energy into something productive, into something further in your life. It's 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 difficult to get into that mindset. And I get it because we are men. But discipline is what separates the men from the boys. Discipline is what separates the successful from the unsuccessful. Are you disciplined enough to get up every morning and work out? Are you disciplined enough to work on this business plan every day? Are you disciplined enough to get this content done and edit it and push it out? Are you disciplined enough to work on this course that you have? Are you disciplined enough to stay away from the women and stop going to the clubs and spending your money in the bars and all that stuff and you setting yourself back? Are you disciplined enough to do these things? That's all it is. And when you show that you're not pressed to sleep with a woman, you're not pressed to have sex with every woman that you come across, when you show that, You come off as a disciplined man and women love disciplined men. So you're actually going to get better results by not being so driven and so motivated by your lust. It's you look like a little boy. You look like, you know, a high school kid. You just so motivated and driven by your lust. Every woman that you see, you turn your head, you want to, oh, dang, I wonder what she I'm trying to. It's like a like a kid. Yes, women are beautiful. Women are extremely attractive. Right. And they understand that and they can use that to their advantage with weak minded men who are motivated and driven by that. They can get you to do whatever they want you to do if they're good enough at it. If They don't learn the game and they don't learn how a man minds work, an undisciplined man minds work. They can get you to do whatever they want. It's like. Dangling the carrot in front of the donkey, right? And it's just it's just keep on walking because that carrot is just right in front of his face. So it's just going to keep on walking, trying to get this carrot. Same concept. You're just going to keep doing whatever she wants. You're just going to keep showing up in different ways, hoping that you finally get to it. Sometimes it might work. Sometimes it don't. But at the end of the day, you got to look up like, man, I done invested all this time, effort and energy into trying to get this woman for what? It is, it's just not worth all of that effort and energy just for a few minutes of, of pleasure. This is this some of the coldest game I could give you, bro. Remove that. Remove that goal. Remove the, the, the 
desire to sleep. You might not even be able to remove the desire, right? You, you may still want to do it. But I'm saying don't make that a focal point if you're actually trying to, one, get to know a woman, or two, just get someone that can help you further yourself in life. You're not here just to sleep with chicks and keep it pushing. It might not seem like a big deal, but I'm telling you, that is a distraction, man. And I've been on this type of time for a little minute now. When I was a younger guy, I was just like any other guy. You know what I'm saying? Very motivated by chasing chicks and getting chicks and very motivated by lust. But that was the immature me. The sooner you can realize that that is immature and it doesn't lead to anything productive. The sooner you can realize that, the sooner you can change your life. Listen, getting to the point, getting to the goals that you're trying to reach, living out your purpose, getting to your purpose, seeing your purpose. The sooner you can get there, the sooner you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, man. But as long as you're delaying this process, as long as you're delaying becoming who you're supposed to be, you're putting your goals off to the side, you're putting your dreams off to the side because you're chasing women. The more you put in that, the longer it's going to take. And you may never even get there because you don't waste it so much time. Hindsight is twenty twenty, man. When you look back, your life was a quick low. You know, you was on earth for 60, 70, 80 years. In the grand scheme of things, that was quick. That was the blink of an eye. So you don't have as much time as you think. And if you're wasting it chasing women, bro, you're going to look back and you're going to wish you could have did things differently. Take the women down off a pedestal, right? Take them off a pedestal. Take the idea of, of smashing chicks all the time or whatever chick you're chasing right now because you want to smash so bad. Remove that, right? Ask yourself, why, why, else am I, why else do I want to get to know this woman? Why else do I want to talk to her? Is it strictly just because I want to smash? That's it? I'm about to invest my time, effort, and energy. I got to show up a certain type of way. I got to act like I'm this whatever she want me to be just so I can smash. I'm doing all of this for what? You could be putting that same effort and energy into yourself. Into bettering yourself, into getting a bag. You putting that same like you putting all this effort. Dudes put so much effort and energy into becoming a certain type of man just to get with a chick, just to smash, and they still not where they want to be in life. Like you hustling backwards, you're doing all of this stuff just to smash a chick. Like that's crazy, bro. It's really not, it's really not that serious. I'm telling you, it's really not that serious. The women ain't going nowhere. They're going to be here forever. So you lock in for a minute. Just lock in, grind it out. And if you are going to be dealing with the entertaining women, don't let sex be the motivating force. Get to know them so they can help you get to where you're trying to go. See how they can bring some type of value into your life outside of that. And if you remove that from the equation, you remove the lust from the equation and you see like this woman has absolutely nothing else to offer, then you don't need to be around her. You don't need to be dealing with her because she ain't got nothing else to offer outside of you being attracted to her physically. See how she can be of use to you, of service to you. If it's, if it's nothing else there, you need to keep it pushing, man. You about to waste your time and you and you're probably going to end up in a situation where you're worse off than than you were when you met her. Might get her pregnant, you know what I'm saying? Might catch a case, end up in jail, something like crazy things can happen when you're dealing with a chick that you just shouldn't be dealing with. You wasting time and you risking a lot. Keep this in mind, bro. You want to be you want to be a super you want to be a dope individual. You want to level up. You want to get to a bag. You want to get to the to the to the doper whips and the, and the doper cribs and the doper clothes and shoe. You want to get to all that stuff, all the material stuff that don't matter either. Lock in, bro. Stop letting women be your motivating force. Stop letting your lust be your motivating force. Stop letting that be the thing that drives you. Because you're going to be chasing the wrong thing. You're chasing women and they're going to be running away. You're showing, you're showing that this is what motivates you. You're going to get taken advantage of. Relax, bro. They're not going nowhere. Look, man. I got more videos on the way. Patreon in the description. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and I'll be back with y'all soon, man. Peace.